Today, I'm going to show you how you can use repurpose to take your videos from one platform and share them onto all of these different platforms. All you have to do is click the link in this video description and you can get started for free. Once you sign up for repurpose, you're going to want to start with the connections area. So these are some of the connections I already have done. I have connected YouTube, both of my TikToks, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google Drive. Now I'm going to show you how you add a connection. So once you click on add a new connections, these are all of the options that are available to you. And today I'm going to link my Facebook. So I'm going to click here on Facebook and then you get to name the connection, whatever it is that you would like to name it. So I'm going to name my connection Facebook FAF for, because I have two Facebooks. So this is for the fun affiliate family. Now it says here, if this is your main Facebook account, you can choose a page or group to publish from when you create your repurpose workflow later. So for now, you're just going to click your Facebook account. So you'll have to add in your Facebook um, password and all of that. And then the Facebook will be attached and there it is right now. Now you see it will have like a date over here that would be like a date that you have to um, expire. So you have to re-upload at certain times. All right, so once you have your connections, you will do this for everything that you want to have connected everywhere you want to have content and you're going to go over then to the workflow section. And this is where you will tell it, I want to send this video from this channel to a video on another channel. So to create a workflow, you're going to start here, click create a new workflow. Now I'm going to do one from my TikTok and you see it starts bringing up all of your different options. So I'm going to do one TikTok to my Facebook. So you can name the workflow anything you want and then you click next. And then this is where you select your different sources. So I'm going to bring it from TikTok and then it will say which TikTok do you want because you have more than one. So you pick the one you want it to go from. So I'm going to check the paper designs one and then you click on next and you want it to do upload full video because that's what we're talking about today's video but you can also um if you're doing podcasts you can do that as well um and then full video is what i want to do but you can make any choices that you want and then my destination on this one is going to be my facebook and then you can check here you can select which one do you want it to go to now i don't I tried group before and it wouldn't let me because I think a group you have to have like, you have to be in the group to post. So I think that was why. And then you select which page you want it to go to and it would bring up your different pages. All right. And then when you have everything the way you want it, you're just going to um, select done. And then it will generate your workflow. So here you will have the one I just added, the TikTok to Facebook. All right, so let's go ahead and create one, shall we? So let's say we want to do from TikTok paper designs to Facebook. I'm going to click on view content. Um, if you want to select this manual means you do it every time. So this is how I have mine set now. If you want, you can switch it over to automatic and pick the, I think you can pick the times that you want it to start at. So here would be all content or this date and newer. I may do this eventually. It's not something I've done yet, um, but that would be a really easy way to do it. That way, every time you post a TikTok, it's going to eventually go straight to Facebook um, pretty instantly. All right, so to get started on that, you're going to click on view content, and this is when you would do it manually. It will bring up all of that content that so far you have. Now, if, if it's not current, you can click resync and it will bring it up because if you haven't been on in a day or two, it won't automatically bring up the new information. It will have your old stuff, um, not old stuff, but just from the last time you were on. So from the day before or whatever. So I clicked resync. This is how we do it from TikTok to Facebook. I'm going to look at this and say, yes, I want to send this one over to Facebook. So I'm going to click publish. And then it will bring up this box here. And this is where it will just brings over what you had on your TikTok. And so you can leave or delete or whatever you want to do right here. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of extra information.
Now, some of these have places for links like your Pinterest and um, things like that. Otherwise, you, you know, you don't put a link. You just say check the link in the bio or something like that. So you can schedule um, for like a date in the future. This one, you know, it starts usually with today and just a few hours later. So if you want to schedule it, you pick what you want and you click set schedule and then schedule now. Otherwise, you would select um, publish now. So you can do that one of those ways. And that's pretty much the same for every one of the workflows. So let's go back and I'll show you one, um, what it looks like with YouTube, for instance. Let's see, I'm going to go to my Funophilic family to the YouTube. So you see this one, I haven't been on this one for a couple days um, since the third. So this one is something that I'm going to want to resync. And it's going to bring up all the videos I've published on TikTok since the third. I'm going to find one I want to publish and I'm just going to click publish. And then here you can see all of the different, um, like I say, everything's right here. They even have a place where you can put your keywords. And if you want to upload your own custom thumbnail, I think they have a place for you to do that. You can click here and find your thumbnail. And again, this is the same kind of thing where you can schedule or you can publish now from YouTube as well. Once you've selected your video and published, um, it will have up here queued. And then once a video is actually already published, it will say like right here, it says published. If for some reason it doesn't go through, like if a connection has been lost, all you have to do is um, delete the connection and add it again. But then if that didn't work, you know, if it doesn't work, it will say failed, but that rarely happens. But if it does, you just connect, reconnect and go at it from there. All right, so I've pretty much touched on all of this, the basics over here with templates. This is something I have not done yet. So I'm not going to show you how to do it, but they do actually have a, um, a tutorial on that right here. So click here now to use this feature. So if this is something you're interested in the template section, you can watch this video here that um, the creator will actually do a much better job than I would of showing you how to do it because it's not something I have done yet. So I want you to check that out right there. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on a repurpose and how you can use it to save a lot of time when you're using your videos from one platform to the other. So please subscribe to our channel if you found this video valuable, share it with someone else and make sure you give us a thumbs up. Have a good day.